Welcome to Picture Healer Channel. Today we are going to talk about how to design a better feng shui office. It can be your home office or your workspace in an office building or even just a cubicle. The principles are the same. Before we start rearranging any furniture, we should pay attention to your intentions. Why do you want to improve your office space? Do you have problem with your current working environment? Which part you would like to improve? Do you have an idea of your dream office environment? If you can get together the information of your dream office, the whole process will be much easier. And on the other hand, we have to be mindful about our current situation. That means we work with what we have. We start where we are. If you do not have a lot of budget or a lot of time, then you respect that and start small. You can still refer to Pinterest and Instagram for your future dream space, but keep a realistic expectation and improve a little bit at a time. The most important thing you can change is the layout of your office space. Not everyone has a freedom of changing the office layout or change the furniture. But if you do have choice, that's the number one thing you should consider. That's the traffic flow or the flow of qi. One basic rule for good feng shui desk position is a commanding position. That means when you are sitting down in front of your desk, you have the view of the incoming traffic. There is a wall behind you or some tall bookcase or shelf behind you for support. And in front of you, you have a nice open space or a window so you can look out. If you cannot change any of the layout, maybe you have to sit in a cubicle and you cannot see the traffic behind you, it's a good idea to place a mirror so you can see who is walking behind you. And if you don't have a good view in front of you, maybe you can place a landscape painting or photography to represent the open view. And behind you, if there's no wall or support, you can add some tall furniture or even just cover with a curtain if it's allowed. The commanding position is usually in the inner corner that's away from the entrance. So you have more privacy and you can still oversee the whole room. The next step is to clean the whole area, declutter, organize, and purify the space. The office supplies tend to clutter up and all the files can really make us feel depressed or unfocused. So it's nice to have a chance to do a big decluttering and just leave what you need and find a system to keep them organized. So everything has a place and you will not need to spend extra time just to find your stuff or feeling overwhelmed. The key is to design a simple system that matches your workflow. And everybody's system will be different. And you probably want to try several times to get it right. And that's okay too. Another way to cleanse or purify the space for a fresh start is to do a space cleansing. And you can use incense or use uh, smudge sticks and burn some dry herbs, or you can sprinkle some rice and uh, natural salt in every corner of the space, or spray some room spray with essential oils and water, such as sage or eucalyptus. The next step is to introduce your own style and add some personal touch. In the first step of setting up intention, you probably already look at all the Pinterest and Instagram pictures and you know what your dream office will look like. And we will try to achieve the style you like in this step. 
You can introduce your favorite color or styles by picking the right office supplies and organize them the way you like. The goal is to set up a space that inspires you and keep you motivated and focused when you're working. You can add some pictures, images, or statues or artwork. That reminds you the successful people you admire or your goals and dreams. The next step is to balance your yin and yang and the five elements. We all know the feng shui is about yin and yang, the two opposite energies. It's not about increasing one energy or suppressing the other energy. It's really about balance. So sometimes you just have to trust your intuition, and the same as the five elements. An easy way to balance the five elements is to look at their colors and the shapes. I have the chart here for the five element related colors and their shapes. The five elements are also related to the four seasons. Plus the late summer for the Earth season, so depends on your birth season and depends on the current season. You can add or subtract certain colors or shapes to balance the five elements. Since there are many different schools of feng shui, if you follow certain style, you can apply your feng shui chart. And overlay it on top of your office space too, or you can look at my monthly flying star feng shui chart analysis, or the yearly chart analysis to set up your feng shui. If that sounds overwhelming, then you do not need to do that. Just remember your intention of the office space in the first step. Does your current office look like your dream office? Does it feel right? If not, keep tweaking, and you can improve it a little bit at a time. The last step is about bringing extra luck, and this is the part most people expect to bring in some feng shui items for good luck. You can bring an indoor plane that's beautiful and easy to maintain, so it adds some energy from nature. And you can also add a water feature, maybe a small water fountain or fish tank. And if that's too much work to maintain, you can just place a big pot of your tea or water or your choice of beverage. It can also act like a water element and bring you money luck. Other common feng shui items include a natural crystal or jade. To increase the energy of the space, and other popular feng shui items to display include the pisho, or dragon, or dragon turtle, or a horse. They are all symbols of success and good energy. And the qilin is also a very auspicious symbol to bring in helpful people and helpful mentors. The last one is about proper lighting. Most people are not paying attention to the lighting, and a lot of offices don't have good lighting. They can be very harsh, or very blue, or too weak. So you can examine your space and add proper lighting, the right color temperature, right intensity, with adjustable direction. To make it really functional and comfortable, once you finish the process of setting up a good energy office, you can start enjoy it. But the work is not done yet. Feng shui is always a work in progress because you still have to maintain it, keep it decluttered, keep it the way you like it. And every few months, you might want to re-examine your space. Because we all change, and maybe our goals and intentions will change, so we can make adjustment and change some designs around, move around the furnitures or our lucky items. 
So I hope this is helpful. Thank you for watching today and see you next time.